So what would happen sometimes is that you would have a token and you would then target a group of individuals. So let's say we're target, targeting bin men, right? This token, we want bin men to buy this. So we, we really focus on getting all the bin men to, to buy this. Okay. Now I'm the guy who created this token and I hold You're like, talking about a random token. Random token. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Random token. Bin man token. Yeah. Okay. So this is, this is, this is bin man coin. Okay. <laughs> I invented Binman coin and I hold say, you know, fifty percent of the of the coins and the rest of them in circulation for people to buy. So I target the bin men. Go, come on, bin men, we get big sales thing, everyone come and buy this coin. As the, they buy them, coin value goes up, I get rich. On your fifty percent that you sat on. My fifty percent that I sat that on. You're deciding not to do any good with. Don't do anything with it. I just get rich off these bin men. The bin men get some money as well, obviously, they're, they're, when the token goes up. But they've got like, you know, they might have 300 tokens, bin men tokens, where I've got like, you know, 50 million or whatever. You know what I mean? So that, when people think of like Ponzi schemes and stuff like that, that's because that's what you mate in the pub when he's telling you about crypto. That's what the, the non-believer says, isn't it? That's not a Ponzi scheme, mate. Those things do exist. And you have to be able to, you know, look out for them. But that's not the case here. It's not the case because nobody, you do not have to, the people we're trying to help don't have to buy the token. Mm. You know what I mean? They don't have to buy it. 